Hi there. Welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome. So happy you could join us today. I am so excited about this series of videos. It's um, three to begin with. It is a whole bunch of empties, but not full-size products for the most part. It's mostly samples. So I want to start today with makeup-related samples and perfumes. And the reason why I wanted to make these videos is because it may not be months of impressions, but at least you can get an idea of first impressions from these various products because a sample very often can allow us to use uh, the product for far more than one time. So I want to show you a little bit of what I mean by a lot of samples. This is only one box. And I have a ton of samples. At the bottom, these are all a bunch of uh, lip products and foundations. I have um, shampoo samples down here and uh, hair samples. I've got primers, uh, different uh, skincare products, and then some serums and whatnot over here and a few tanning products here. So I have a lot in this box. And then I also have those deluxe type samples. And I have some more of these when it comes to makeup in another container that I have in the back there in storage. So definitely a lot, a lot of products. So today is makeup related stuff and perfumes. The first and just going from how you put your face on in the morning is, is how I'm going to go. First one is the um, Argan Finishing Balm from Josie Marin. I had no problem with this. I thought it was a really neat, I'll have to get this to show up, a really neat kind of a, um, a primer. I liked it. I have two or three more samples and I will definitely be using again. Uh, enough to buy? Probably not, but I will definitely use it. Second one I have is from the Professional. So, hmm, it's one of those little samples now. Um, I heard LS talk about this a lot where the professional, there are a ton of samples that come our way. And so I don't really feel like I should have to, to buy it. And I also have a deluxe sample of the professional, so I'll probably be using that instead of purchasing it. The next one I have is a, um, a concealer. I actually have a concealer and a corrector. This is the airbrush concealer from Benefit. And this one I actually managed to use quite a few times before it dried up and was finished. And I would argue that um, it's a good, uh, it's a good concealer. And I have this is the airbrush concealer. I have the industrial concealer that I'm using right now, and I quite like it. So um, I wouldn't say that I wouldn't use or purchase this concealer because I do like the industrial one. So I would uh, keep it in mind at least. The next one that I have here is the uh, Peach Corrector from Bobbi Brown. And did I like it? Um, I liked it okay. I also got um, a pinker uh, corrector as a sample as well. It works fine, nothing, nothing crazy about uh, to, to say about it, but I would definitely say that I prefer uh, the benefit option. Another sample that I got, which was a tiny, 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 I don't know how to say it. Uh, La Roche Pussy, I think, is the way to say it. And it was a small sample that I got, and it's a, I guess it's sort of like uh, a BB cream. It's supposed to be a, or a tinted moisturizer. Uh, it's called um, Effaclar Duo Plus. Uh, it's really kind of all in French. Um, Unifying Corrective Unclogging Care. Um, anti-imperfection, anti-mark. So it's really kind of like a tint tinted moisturizer or, or, or didn't feel like a CC cream. But anyway, it was, it was fine. I quite liked it and I probably would uh, look to repurchase this one if it's not too expensive. One sample that was a gimme was this one. The Lancome uh, Dual Finish in Buff 2. This one ended up being a sample that I was really looking forward to using and Part of the reason why, part of my project pan is using this one that is also a Lancome Dual Finish Powder, very, very similar 
to this sample. So I ended up, when I had to repress this one, I ended up putting this sample right in it and pressing the two together and that was great. So obviously it's something that I would definitely repurchase because I quite like this powder. The next one that was kind of neat, and I ended up getting two of these, was the uh, Guerlain Terracotta Bronzing Powder in uh, number three. I really liked it and I am very happy that I have a second one to work with. Now the thing is that uh, this bronzer is insanely expensive and I seriously doubt that I would pay full price for it because I have so many other ones that are work that work just as well. So I would probably pass on this one. Then I had two samples of the NARS liquid blush in Orgasm and I ended up using um, these these samples, unfortunately, they come in that same kind of little little packaging just like this. And really that packaging is meant not only to be cheap, I'm sure, but also to make sure that you don't have too, too much of the product to use. Well, I managed to use this thing, uh, these two samples, for weeks because I put them in these little, these little containers that I use um, to put samples in so that I can um, make sure that they don't dry out on me. I used them for weeks and I actually quite liked it when I'm just just done putting the foundation on and haven't powdered yet. To put a, a cream blush, these really stayed on quite nice. Now if I didn't have a um, miniature version of the powdered NARS Orgasm, I might actually consider buying these. So this is something that I will definitely keep in mind. I finished a lipstick. So it comes from this whole package here. Uh, of different samples and I opened it in a, in a or it was part of my um, things that I wanted to use. So this one in uh, this case is Stark Naked and I really enjoyed using it and finished it quite nicely and uh, it is uh, one of the Urban Decay Vice lipsticks that I would definitely consider um, purchasing. Now not all of the colors in here are colors that I would you know think of purchasing but I did start off with the with the nude section uh, right off the hop and I think that these are, like I've said before in the previous video, these sample packs of 24 are insanely great to have in, in our collection. Talk about no risk to have a number of um, lipstick in your collection. That's it for makeup. I wanted to then go over perfumes. So I went through eight different perfume samples over the last few months and wanted to go over them. So Sophia Isabel is one that I went through very, very tiny. It's a roller ball. And there's just a tiny bit left in the in the jar. A little roller ball um, of a perfume sample. It's very kind of citrusy, fruity. Um, not my cup of tea, but for a kind of a clean um, citrusy smell, it seemed to be fine. I'm not great at describing perfumes, by the way. Um, this Marc Jacobs uh, Decadence. I quite quite liked it's it's what I would call a typical perfume smell, but it was it was um, um, pleasant. So Marc Jacobs Decadence. I got uh, the two perfumes from Kat Von D, and I have to say that out of the two, Saint and Sinner, that I did prefer the Sinner um, fragrance. It just seemed to suit me better, and I tend to wear perfume more in the evening, so I tended to to prefer the Sinner one. Although the, the Saint was, was quite nice. I, I just have a preference for the for the Sinner one. Maybe it says something about me, I'm not sure. The next one was Elizabeth and Jane, um, James, pardon me, uh, Nirvana Black. I really liked this one. I don't think I liked it enough to repurchase or to actually purchase the, the perfume, but I, I quite enjoyed having the sample. I'm hoping in my sample bag of perfumes I have more of those. The next one was uh, Aqua di Parma, Pionia Noble, Nobile, Pionia Nobile. Um, I like this one as well. It was um, quite nice, light, feminine. I would definitely not repurchase, but I definitely liked it enough to continue using it to the end of the sample. Alien by uh, Muggler. It was fine. I didn't dislike it. It was, again, um, not a perfume that, that just stayed with me and um, that really left uh, an impression. 
And then finally, I also have um, Bright Crystal by Versace. And I think I have, yeah, just so you can see what the bottle actually looks like. That's, that's what it looks like. It was a 100 point or 250 point reward from Sephora that I got. Um, I, would, I would say that I don't mind this perfume, but other than one of those uh, reward uh, containers, I don't think that I would uh, repurchase that, although I understand why for a lot of folks this is a, um, a preferred perfume. And that's it for the first wave of samples. I hope you found something useful in this quick uh, description. And the next set of samples, if you care to watch the next one, I've got some, uh, some hair products and also some cleansers. So uh, stay tuned for part two if you found this one useful. Thank you again for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, give me a comment down below and uh, I hope you'll uh, consider subscribing. Thanks for your time and see you in the next video. Bye now.